Hey Jamarin developers, this is Jamarin guys. So for this tutorial, in this tutorial, we'll be creating a beautiful sign up as well as login page. So without wasting time, let's create our full project by going to File, New, and then select Project. Here we'll see a lot of options. Right now we're creating app for multi-platform. So I'll select cross-platform app and give it a shared project as I'm using live player. You can use portable project also. Here we'll be talking about shared project rather than project that are targeting both Android as well as iOS. So I'll be minimizing them. In Xamarin.forms cross-platform, whatever you code goes to the root project because it applies to all projects. Here main page is a placeholder which contains the page to be loaded. It's an area where we are evaluating our app to start from the position. Now let's go to our main page.xaml part. Here I'll write some block of code inside my content page.content content page dot content as we have already discussed about content page and grid views in order to save my time i will drag and drop my content page dot padding here content page dot padding tag with on platform tag should be replaced keep in mind that on platform is a generic class you need to specify the generic type argument in this case. Thickness, which is the type of padding property. Fortunately, there's a JAML attribute specifically for using with generic argument called X type arguments. The padding on the content page tag is set to 20 units on the top, but that's only to avoid overlapping the status bar on the iPhone. App developers can specify grid unit type value for the column definition height property in JAML. This is typically done inside tags for the grid row definition. The following example demonstrates setting three rows height to each of the three valid grid unit type values. We already know that rows are arranged in horizontal position, so I am placing three rows so that I can arrange three items inside that rows, as Instagram image will be given as infinite height. Now I'll place my stack layout orientation inside my row that is height of 86 and then margin I'll be giving as 0, 10, 0, 0 and level text as select language and giving all source of down arrow.png so that it could look nice inside my center view of my UI. You may be in doubt that from where did I took those source images and where did I place I placed inside my drawable folder of both Android as well as iOS project and took a reference from web as well as took a reference from Android Asset Studio for down arrow icons. Now let's open File Explorer and then I will copy all those images inside my resource folder of iOS project. I will drag it and then drop. Now I will place one image inside my grid row at height of infinite length. I will place that grid row is equals to 1. This is our main part where we will be dividing grid row dot 1 into its row definition. Here row definition height are given as star so that the height may be vary with respect to the images, buttons as well as text, anything it could be. And for image source, I have given image source as white color dot png yes i have already defined my resource inside my android as well as iOS project giving a height equals of 60 vertical as well as horizontal as center and expand and given a margin of 10 0 10 0 and sign up with email or phone number with text background as a respective color and given a height of at about 60 this is all about our grid row is equals to one position of all our object now for my second grid row, I'll be placing that grid row inside that main grid. Here I'll be requesting a level of height 1 background as its respective color. 
and giving a text as have an account then login and vertical option as fill and expand and vertical text alignment as center as well as horizontal as center now let's run our project whether it gets compiled or not building is getting started here i'll be using my physical device and reflecting using visor okay we got our expected output and let's check for ios project okay we got our expected output 